It's happening. New York City is sinking, not metaphorically, not emotionally, but geologically. Scientists just dropped a study stating that the weight of over a billion buildings is literally pushing the city into the ground. And it isn't happening slow enough to ignore it. New York is sinking around 1 to 2 millimeters every year. That's faster than you think. You get the picture? The weight of Manhattan isn't just on the rent anymore. It's crushing the earth below. Here's the math. New York buildings weigh about 1.7 trillion pounds. That's like stacking 4,700 Empire State buildings on top of each other. The ground? It was never built for that. Some neighbourhoods are sinking faster, especially those built on reclaimed land. LaGuardia Airport? It's sinking. The financial district? It's sinking. Parts of Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island? All gently going down. No, the city isn't vanishing tomorrow. But combined subsidence with climate change? Storm surges are going higher. Flood zones are getting larger. Insurance costs are spiking. The cracks in infrastructure are showing. And the city is bleeding money on upkeep. So what's the plan? Reinforce, adapt, spend billions to protect billions. The usual story. Patch it up, kick the problem down the road until the road disappears underwater. New York's not the only mega city that needs to brace for the sinking feeling. Mumbai, also going down about 2 mm per year based on satellite data in a peer-reviewed study. Jakarta is sinking, parts of it by more than a foot a year. Venice, Bangkok, Shanghai, even San Francisco, all are feeling the slow pull downwards. Different cities, same gravity. But New York might just be the first to feel the crush of its own ambition. Big city, heavy price. portfolio with real-time market updates on the go. Create effective strategies with insightful expert opinions on the go. Grow on the go with CNBC TV18. Now streaming live 24-7 on YouTube. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV18 on all of our digital platforms.